Hello friends, in this video I am going to take question number 19 of exercise 9.4 from the chapter differential equation of NCRD maths textbook of class 12. Friends, the question is like this. The volume of the spherical balloon being inflated changes at constant rate. Okay, so we are filling a spherical balloon and its radius is changing at a constant rate. If initially its radius is 3 units and after 3 seconds it is 6 units, find the radius of balloon after t seconds. So we have to find the radius of the balloon after t seconds. Okay. Now to solve the question, because in the question it is given that the volume of the spherical balloon changes at a constant rate. So this means that dv upon dt is equal to k, rate of change of volume that is change of volume with respect to time is equal to k a constant now we know that volume of a sphere of radius r is given as 4 upon is given by 4 upon 3 pi r cube okay so we have written or we have expressed the volume of the balloon in terms of r and also the question is about the radius of the balloon after t seconds so ultimately this question cannot be solved by uh, without placing the value of v in terms of r okay now placing the value of v in this equation i can write dv d upon dt as equal to 4 upon 3 pi r cube is equal to k now differentiation of r cube with respect to t would be equal to 3 r square into dr upon dt so 3 3 cancels out so i'm going to get 4 pi r square dr upon dt as equal to k okay now there's our differential equation and this equation is in variable separable form so i'm going to first of all separate the variables okay the variables are separated and uh, now i can integrate so integrating both sides of the equation i'm going to get integration of 4 pi r square dr is equal to k times integration of dt now integration of r square would be equal to r cube upon 3 and integration of t would be uh, dt would be equal to t so i'm going to obtain 4 upon 3 pi r s r cube is equal to kt plus c or on cross multiplication of this 3 i'm going to get 4 pi r cube is equal to 3 times kt plus c this I mark as equation number 1. Now, we have to calculate the radius of the balloon after t seconds. So for this, we require the value of k and c. And to calculate the value of k and c, we have been given conditions. The first condition is this, that initially the radius was 3. So this means when time was 0, the so radius was equal to 3. So I am going to place r is equal to 3 in equation number 1. So 4 pi 3 cube is equal to 3 into k into 0 plus c. So this 3 would cancel out to give me 3 square. So 3 square is 9, 9 for the 36. So this gives me 36 pi is equal to c or c is equal to 36 pi. Now when t is equal to 3 and r is equal to 6 units, placing these values in equation number 1, I'm going to get 4 pi into 6 cube as equal to 3 into k into 3 plus c okay further i can write 4 pi into 216 because 6 cube is 216 is equal to 3 into k into 3 plus 36 pi because we have calculated c as equal to 36 pi okay further i can cancel this 3 with 216 this is going to give me 72 72 into 4 would be 288 so I'm going to get 288 pi as equal to k into 3 plus 36 pi. This 36 pi goes here. This gives me 252 pi as equal to 3k or k is equal to 84 pi. Now, we have calculated k, we have calculated c and from the equation number 1, we are going to calculate the radius after t seconds. So for this, I take the equation and place the value of k and c to obtain an expression like this from this left hand from this right hand side i have taken 4 pi as common so this gives me 3 into 4 pi is equal to 21 t plus 9 this 4 pi 4 pi cancels out so i get r cube is equal to 3 into 21 t plus 9 or r cube is equal to 63 t plus 27 
और r इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी थ्री टी प्लस ट्वेंटी सेवन टू दी पावर ऑफ वन बाय थ्री और थर्ड रूट ऑफ दिस वैल्यू ओके सो दिस गिव मी द रिक्वायर्ड रेडियस आफ्टर टी सेकेंड्स एंड दिस हाउ वी टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन फ्रेंड्स थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग माई वीडियो to watch more of these super videos and for the latest updates subscribe and like the videos on these channels on youtube hsk shiksha and math help by hsk thank you